Now this is my life-size Emperor of Evil PVC prop using the Emperor of Evil costume. That's basically what life-size PVC prop can look like. PVC arms with the C PVC and rebar tie wire and electrical tape. Fingers. So this is a hardware cloth. They call it hardware mesh. It comes in a roll. You get it next to the chicken wire. And it bends, but it's very sharp when you cut it. It's tied together. Get some shape. Put electrical tape or duct tape. I'll show some of the tools in either another video or another part of the video. These are the CPVC hands. Rebar tie wire. This is rebar tie wire. You can bend it better than coat hangers. A lot easier to use. Very bendable. You don't need that twine, but I just put it on there. One thing you do have to do is take scissors and slice the pool noodles because they really don't fit but it does beef it up now one thing I could have done is to beef up this shoulder a little bit because it got a little too angular and the measurements by the way I'm 5'9 so basically just measure yourself there used to be a website called Zombietronics that could help you measure it that's really common sense The wig head is pressure fit, not even pressure fit. Just really loose. I label them so I know exactly what they are because I take them apart and break them down to a certain extent. And those are pressure fit for now. Although, parts that stay in place, I use wood screws. So I use wood screws uh, with holes drilled in and then I screw it in where they normally pressure fit. So that's what it looks like without the arms, so you can just slide that costume which, like all Halloween costumes are, is very thin. And PVC. I hope this part helped. So I have that flood hooked up to the lightning effects unit. Just show in another video. Bounced off a stair like container. Just so it's not straight on. <laughs>